Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good one, and welcome back to Robocop Rogue City, where Antonovsky is still on the loose, but with his funding cut off after the death of the old man at OCP, he's now in desperate need of an army that will do whatever he tells it to do without having to be paid. Meanwhile, with Becker now in charge of OCP, and with the old man having almost bankrupted the company pursuing Project Afterlife, Becker is desperate for a cash injection, and so he's here at the Detroit Arms Expo trying to generate some cash by selling off his urban enforcement droids, an army that will do whatever you tell it to do without having to be paid. You're here? Good. Proceed to the main stage and stand on the podium. There's an old friend waiting for you there already. And uh, yes, eagle-eyed viewers, that is Robocop 2. That is the second version of Robocop that had the brain of the drug-addicted crime lord Kane in it. In the second movie. Don't worry. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. We have to be on the lookout for Antonovsky. Do you ever just stop? We won. So smile. Okay, don't smile. Creeping me out. It's showtime. Welcome, everyone, to the Detroit Arms Expo, where we will show you the newest, hottest advancements in urban warfare. Thank you. Thank you. Now, please, before we proceed, let's take a moment to honor the man who made all of this possible. So join me in a minute of silence. 60. 59, 58. Now, let's start the party. <laughs> OCP has always been the pioneer pushing the limits of what's been possible in security technology. Those efforts gave us Robocop and Robocop 2. Yeah, but Robocop 2 was an unmitigated disaster. That's right. But much like our late CEO, Robocop is the past. We need to look at the future. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present OCP's newest achievement, the UEDs, Urban Enforcement Droids. A reliable solution to crime with the push of a button. Yeah, but I mean, doesn't that depend on who's got their finger on the button? UEDs will be exclusively protecting the streets of Detroit, since the police left the citizens of our city to the mercy of the criminal element by going on a strike. But no need for alarm, UEDs are ready to patrol the city today. Today will be their first major test, the protection of the mayoral election rally. Now, let's open up the floor to the questions. I'm sure you're dying to hear more about my robots, yes? I have a question for Robocop. In view of the police strike, do you think these new robots are actually capable of protecting the city? Becker's a lying shit. The police didn't go on strike, they were fired. The police did not strike. We were fired. The police left because they felt threatened by the UEDs. And rightfully so. My machines are superior in every way. A presentation is in order to show that those are not just empty words. I have another question for Robocop. It's about the candidates for mayoral elections. Who cares? It can't even vote in the damn thing. It's just an OCP product. There are a lot of people that value his opinion. Polls show that Robocop's words and actions have influenced ratings for both candidates several times already. So, Robocop, could you give us all a definite answer and put our minds at ease? Is Mill's promise to grant you and all future cyborgs human rights enough to earn your support? Knowing you'd possibly get your freedom back? Freedom to do what exactly? Get back with his family? Start a business? Join a bowling team? Or will you, contrary to your creator's interest, encourage people to vote for Mayor Kuzak, OCP's loudest adversary? Ah, <sighs> this shit again. Today's actually the day of the elections, and I've been trying to stay out of politics this entire game. No matter what I says, somebody's trying to put a spin on it and take advantage of it. I support no one. That's surprising. Based on your earlier comments, many people came to the conclusion that you were siding with Mills. But I think we can take your statement as a withdrawal of support. 
Well, there you have it. Now we can get back to why we all gathered here. My robots. It's time to present what these bad boys are capable of, huh? I just need to find the remote. And there it is. <laughs> oh, great. Is, it, is that normal? Well, who saw this one coming? Huh? I... It's just a prototype. No need to worry. More will come. What the hell are you talking about? What was that? All of you need to leave. What do you mean, what was that? You're at an arms expo. Take a wild guess. What is happening? No, Becky, you incompetent sack of shit. You didn't lose your remote. Antonovsky's taken your remote. You've just delivered it. An army that will do whatever he wants and he doesn't have to pay for it. Oh, there's plenty more coming. It's our flagship product, after all. But I can't do anything to control them without the remote. That's the whole point with the UEDs. The one who has the remote has control, and... I lost the remote somewhere. Just keep shooting. I must remember where I put that damn thing. Fortunately, we are at a weapons show, so there are no shortage of things around that go boom. And no shortage of things lying around that I can pick up to make them go, whoa, hello, I didn't realize they did that. That was unexpected. Oh, these things can actually surprise me. Okay, so what do we have here? Eh, pistols are no good. Oh, hello, heavy machine guns. Oh, yes, please. Right, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Secure Hall A. Hello. Is that going to explode if I throw it? Let's find out. Well, that would appear to be a yes. Although it's not terribly efficient unless they're all clustered together. But honestly, I think the heavy machine gun is the best option. Still a couple of them left. At least in this first wall. Where is he? There's one of them left on the radar. And we're probably going to have to jump down here to find them. Or at least there's one of them left that I know about. Yeah, there's another one over there. I'm trying to keep an eye open for crime evidence in here as well, because there's usually some lying around. Right, there's another one just around this corner. There he is. More heavy machine gun ammo. And Hall A is secured. So let's top up the HMG and then move on. Did you remember? No, oh, damn it. But there's another way. Can't control. Take me to the expo depot. The entrance is through Hall C. I'll open the gate. Just clear the space. Code doesn't work. Luckily, I'm the one who sold them this garbage, so I know what to do. Just. Destroy the fuse box, and the gate will open. Do it! So, we're in Hall A, we have to get to Hall C. Sounds like we're going to have to go through Hall B. Oh, there's an OCP chest, which I... Oh, it's in the next hall. Okay, I haven't missed it. So that's in Hall B, and then Hall C, and then wherever it is Becca's taken us. But first we have to get through this fantastic example of OCP security. Security gate that opens if you just shoot the fuse box. <laughs> <laughs> what is your plan? I give the orders and you follow them. Maybe it'll work that way for once. Okay, since I open the gate, you clear the way to Hall C. I remember differently. Your memory is glitchy. Right, so now we have to clear another hall of UEDs. I'm really hoping for another skill point as soon as possible because then I can max out the vitality skill. And what that gives you with 10 points invested is your health regenerates over time up to a maximum of 75 percent so i'll no longer be reliant on the uh recovery charges unless my health gets dangerously low which will be really really nice 
Although in this section of the game, at least here at the Detroit Arms Expo, the recovery challenges seem to be very, very generous. There's like three or four of them in each of these halls. And the UEDs aren't that difficult to take down. Oh, there's a sniper up there. Yeah, those things... Ooh, another heavy machine gun. Awesome. Right, let's get this reloaded. Probably prioritise the snipers, because if they've got the uh, 50 cal, they can take like 20% of your health off in a single shot. Okay, there's another one over there somewhere. I mean, there's probably more. It's just the only one. Oh, there he is. Yep, there's more. Is that it? All, all B secured. Let's get this thing reloaded. Enjoy the peace and quiet while Becca catches up. Now to the gate. We'll reach the depot from Hall C. We must manage this mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just have a quick look around first. This EMP device, how does it affect me? Don't worry. Nothing will happen. To your brain, at least. And that's the part you cherish the most, anyway. You'll be fine. Pave the way to the depot and don't bother your head with that. We don't want your wiring to burn out. It's here where I run into what potentially could have been a serious problem. And I'm not talking about the sniper. Uh, there's a little bit of sort of glitchy hitbox detection here. You can see most of these shots are just being wasted by actually getting the frame of the doorway rather than the targets. So I'm burning through a lot of heavy machine gun ammo here that I might need when the Ed 209 comes around the corner. <laughs> now, this is my second Ed 209 fight in this game. The first one was an utter nightmare. This one is two, but for completely different reasons. I've mentioned before that the, the enemy AI in this game isn't amazing. But, when there's a big mix of enemies, or you fight a whole bunch of enemies at the same time, you don't really notice how mediocre the AI is, because there's a whole bunch of them doing different things at the same time, and when there isn't, when you're not being distracted by a whole bunch of different enemy types, like for example when we were in the steel mill and the uh, vulture bikers were attacking me, and it was just the vulture bikers, and it became very apparent very quickly that all they do is just drive around in the same circle, uh, shooting at you with their Uzis, making them very predictable and very easy to kill. And Ed 209 here is no exception, because he can't get through the door. <laughs> so he just stands there, and every now and then he launches a rocket salvo. And when he does that, I just take a step to the left. I'm not going to bore you with the whole fight, because Basically, you've seen it. It's just me standing here and occasionally sidestepping to the left to avoid a, a rocket attack. And what should have been an interesting and entertaining boss fight just turned into, well, this. Why is this device here? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. The, the, the weapon just ran away on me for some reason. Uh, fortunately, there's plenty of ammo refreshers here. So for those of you who can't hear what Becca's saying, because he's basically run too far away, uh, he was talking about first selling the UEDs, then selling the EMP that disables them to the competition, and then selling the original UED buyers an upgrade that makes them immune to the EMP. Can't really fault his business strategy. I'm just not sure about his timing. Maybe it's not such a good idea to, at the same arms expo, sell the droids, although his presentation went a bit pear-shaped, and also sell the thing that neutralizes them at the same show. Not a great plan. Oh no. I figured I'd meet you here, Robocop. 
Seems like you two have a lot to talk about. I don't want to be in your way. Nonsense, Mr. Becker. Since I have you here, thank you for providing me with this little thing. I was looking for a loyal partner. I was hoping it would be Robocop, but your droids will have to suffice. No problem. And thank you for choosing OCP. Now that my work is done here, so I'm just gonna get... Robocop, now that the old man doesn't need you, I don't need you. Keeping you alive this long was a mistake. Let me erase that mistake. Sorry, I won't be staying to witness this. I need to start packing up the toys. Take care of him. You've got to wonder just exactly how many times Antonovsky is going to pull that stunt with a cigarette lighter before Robocop eventually figures out what's triggering his glitches. <laughs> Uh. Right, anyway. Hey, check me out using all of my special abilities like the stun. Which, by the way, now that it's fully upgraded, actually destroys low-level enemies caught in the area of effect. Yeah, kind of low on health here though. Let's use a recovery charge. And uh, we'll pick up a spare. Right, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. And clearly somebody does. I think that's it. Oh, reloads. Awesome. Now what have we got to do? Pursue Antonovsky. Well, I'm going to reload first. Seriously, how many times has he pulled that stunt with the cigarette lighter now? Is this like the fifth or sixth time? I mean, I was thinking earlier that these UEDs are hardly going to be a replacement for the police because they've got no deductive or logical reasoning abilities. You know, they, they, they're not going to solve crimes, are they? The only thing they're good for is shooting things, and they're not so good at that. A UED wouldn't recognise a piece of evidence if you slapped him in the face with it. Although, based on how Robocop's doing with that lighter, I'm starting to suspect that he might be suffering from the same problem. Glitching out again. Is that Washington? Why would I be seeing Washington? Oh, it's Lewis. Or is it? Yeah. See, at this point, you don't know whether or not what you're seeing is real or it isn't. I mean, I'm pretty sure Lewis isn't lying there dead, because I know she survives until at least the beginning of Robocop 3, but... I can't afford to take the chance, because these enemies might be real. Figure I'm safe assuming that any cops that I see here are not real, but I don't lose anything by shooting at these guys. We must erase you. It's actually impressive how stubborn you are. At the same time, oh, it's heartbreaking knowing that you never could have won. Oh, your creators made sure of that. That chip, OCP implanted in your brain, the one that was supposed to help you, it served as my collateral. It made sure that you could never touch me. It's activated with this. Oh, but I'm sure you already put that together. Actually, despite all the evidence, no! The old man wanted me to use it sparingly, as long exposure would melt your brain. Oh, now that's a visual. 
But since the old man's gone, I can do whatever I want. We packed everything, sir. Splendid. Duty calls. But I'm leaving you with something to remember me by. Good night, Murphy. Oh, it's been exhilarating. Now it's time to take what's mine. The city of Detroit. Night, you're leaving us again? Don't go. Please. So, yeah, Robocop never actually figures it out. Antonovsky has to tell it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Uh. He's waking up. Oh no. What do we do? Murphy, stay calm. He's in so much pain. The chip. Remove it. The evaluation chip? How do we do that? I think I can help. There's a button here that will shut him down. Why is this place so deserted? What's with all the noise? It's Murphy. OCP sabotaged him. That's why Wendell was able to get the upper hand. Why? Robocop's their program. They wanted Robocop's data to use in the Afterlife Project. And no wonder. Robocop is the only successful cyborg that OCP has managed to produce. After they got what they needed, they just wanted him out of the way, without getting their hands dirty. Those scumbags. What now? We need to get that chip out. It should be under the helmet. I saw someone take it off once. I think I can do it. What about the chip? It's here, but I don't think I can. Let me. I'm not squeamish. <laughs> I've done far worse things for far less. There you go, you little bastard. Is this it? Should I turn him back on? Do it. So, Murphy, how you doing? I am doing well, officer. So many familiar faces. Are we celebrating? Wendell certainly is. He stole a shit ton of heavy duty equipment from that military expo. What happens when he decides to use it? He already has. You've got some nerve coming in here. With no police on the streets, every gang in the city is on the rampage. Detroit's on fire! She's right! I've got a call that Windows goons hacked the election broadcast to send a message. Citizens of Detroit, I'm sorry to inform you that help is not coming. You've been abandoned by the police, by your politicians, and by OCP. They all promised you a better life and tried to give you hope. And where did that lead you? Into I feel your frustration. I empathize with it, but let's not stop there. Let us do the only thing we can. Let's burn this filthy city to the ground. And from the ashes, let's rebuild something new. Something better. Wendell's in this for the money, though. I don't see how that's going to help. But I guess the game needs a villain. This is bad. Can we do anything about it? I mean, we've all been fired. Never stopped us before. But where do we start? The new mayor is stranded downtown. That's as good a place as any. All right, let's gear up. What do you say, Murphy? I thought you would never ask. Murphy, Lewis, Washington. Head downtown and help the mayor. I'll try to get as many officers to join you as I can. Aye, aye, Captain. Everyone else? There are phones that need answering and no staff to do it. Sure. Why not? Wait, does anyone even know who won the election? Actually, no. 
but whoever did, they'll have a hell of a time cleaning up this mess. So in a classic case of shutting the barn door after the horse has already bolted, we've removed the chip in our heads that Antonovsky was using to trigger glitches with his lighter. And we did it an hour after he gave us the lighter. <laughs> so, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> anyway, back on the streets. A rampaging army of Antonovsky's droids to take care of, plus whatever violence the gangs of Detroit are throwing into the mix now that the police have all been fired. All of that, coming up in the next episode. Oh, we also get to find out who won the mayor's election, but honestly, who gives a shit? <laughs> so, <laughs> hope you've enjoyed today's video, and as always, take care, and I'll catch you next time.